welcome to my channel. My name is Mayra Alejandra. Today I am doing a video that is hopefully not going to be very long. My intention is to create a look based off of the music video from Rosalia. She has a song called Delirio de Grandeza. The video is just stunning. Yeah, I just, I love the way that the makeup artist made her skin look so natural and definitely giving the no makeup makeup look so i wanted to see what i what i could do to pull that off myself if you want to see what products i use to achieve that look then keep on watching i'm looking crazy right now but this is what we're here to do we're here to transform ourselves i'm not a rosalia listener very much i do think that she is incredible incredibly talented, such a stunning young lady. But yeah, I never really took the time to listen to much of her music. After she put out that song, Delirio de Grandeza, which is a cover, I mean, she killed that bolero. I just, I love boleros. I grew up listening to them and I love, I love listening to music like that. So first up, I think... I'm going to focus a little bit more on like the skincare, skin prep because it is very much like skin based. I want to make sure that my skin is nice and prepped, nice and juicy and healthy looking. So to start, I'm going to use my beloved peptide moisturizer from Inky List. And I really do like this because it's not greasy. It doesn't ever feel heavy. It's just really moisturizing. It leaves my skin so soft. So I have paid attention to some of the videos that are posted on here on YouTube. And she does seem to use the Gua Sha Massage like face massage, which I just started doing that myself. I don't do it as consistently as I probably should to see actual results, but it feels so good. I definitely have been holding some tension. Ah, <sighs> all right. Okay, I had to put my hair up because I'm already sweating. So the next step I wanna do is add yet another moisturizer. This is the Phytosurgeon's Verdant Force Field. I've used it a few times and have loved the way that my skin looks. It hasn't messed with my makeup either, so that's great. I'd like to think that my taste in music is pretty eclectic, as is my overall style. I really like to play up different sides of me, I guess you can say. On the one hand, I love a minimal, very classic, kind of look and then other times i'd like to play up i guess like the more playful side of me where i like wearing chunky jewelry pony bead jewelry lots of glitter it's nice to kind of play around with your style so the next step i'm going to be using the well people bio brightener priming serum i'm trying hard to not add too much shine to the skin because it seems that the makeup artist try to be very selective on where the shine would be focused on so that is what i'm trying to do okay so i'm just gonna let that kind of soak into the skin and allow it to set a little bit and then i'm going to go in with the elf putty primer this is going to go mainly on just like the t-zone which is like this area and the forehead just so that the shine is more controlled. Well, my lips are so dry. I've been drinking coffee all morning and not enough water. Okay, so before I move on to my skin makeup, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. I'm going to try to make them look as naturally fluffy as I possibly can. As you can see, I barely have any eyebrows. Girl, le hago la lucha, you know what I mean? I won't film it because I anticipate that it's going to take forever and a day, but I will tell you the products that I'm planning on using, which are the ABH Brow Freeze, NYX Brow Tint Pen, which is one of my favorites. 
I'll have a pretty thin spoolie on hand and then if need be, I'll use tinted brow gel to give that illusion of extra fluffiness. I'll be right back. All right guys, best I could do. Not blessed in the eyebrow department, so I had to make do with what I got. If you have bushy brows, just comb them upward, make them look fluffy. Fill them in wherever there's gaps and yeah, call it a day. Next up, I'm going to use my Salt New York Sneaky Balm Hydrating Skin Tint. This is, as the name says, very sneaky. You almost can't tell that you have it on. So I'm going to concentrate it under the eye and then pull downward. From what I can tell, Rosalia doesn't really wear much foundation and she seems to gravitate toward the concealer to do any correcting. All right, so this is just helping me cancel out any redness. I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of concealer, just like the tiniest bit. I do think that the secret to a believable no makeup makeup look is to just not use that much makeup. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the Dior Backstage Concealer and I'm going to take off as much as I can off the brush and just add the tiniest bit of concealer. I'm gonna let it sit for just a second so that I can have a little more coverage. I didn't know that Rosalia actually put out a collection with MAC. I wouldn't be surprised if the makeup artist used MAC products primarily during her shoot. Seeing a little bit of your skin and, and a little bit of that discoloration will help the look seem more convincing, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and use a makeup sponge and press onto the skin. You don't want to drag it at all because otherwise you'll just end up picking up the layers of what you just put down. This also helps blend out any brush strokes that might be left on your skin. Okay, so for highlight, I would almost say it's not necessary because there's going to be one product that I feel is going to help us get that moisturized I just did my skincare kind of look to the skin, so we'll we'll get to there. I'm going to pull out another Phytosurgeons product, and that is the Divine Daylight Spectral Shine. This product I'm still kind of learning how to use. I know that you're supposed to really work your brush into there to pick up sufficient product. Going to also bring it over the brow bone. And I'm actually not gonna put anything on the eyelids. I am going to only slightly, just a whisper of contour, just to give the face a little more shape. And I'm going to use another Salt New York product, which is the Sculpt and Bronze Cream Tint Pro in the shade Taupe. And just use a pretty fluffy brush and I'm going to just tap on the product. If you already have sculpted cheekbones, I'd say you don't really have to do this. I kind of do because my face is a little more round. I do feel like I need a little blush. Add some life back into the skin. Another Salt New York product. This is the Salt New York Lip and Cheek Cream Tint Pro in the shade Rose. Using a fluffy brush and tapping, we don't really need a full-on cheek. Little hint of color. And I'm bringing it over kind of like the outer corner of my eyes just to give that kind of flushed look so you can't really tell right now at least not on camera but i'll make sure to give you guys like a shot of what the makeup look is going to look like under the natural light so what i'm doing is really just blending out any harsh edges that might be left over and i'm not picking up any more blush if you don't have bangs i would maybe suggest to bring some of that blush over to your forehead as well. I'm going to curl my lashes and then add mascara. I 
Okay, so my only tip is to use a mascara that is brown and that is also ideally a little bit on the drier side. The second to last step would be to add Vaseline. So I'm going to add just a little bit onto the high points of my cheeks and just tapping it on. In Rosalia's music video, it looks like she's doing all kinds of like wood chopping and that is why I put that on. You don't have to. If you want to make this more wearable, you can just not wear the Vaseline. If you're outside and if your hair is down, then it's definitely going to be sticking onto your face. So I thought I would add it just for cinematic effects. I'm going to add setting powder. My skin is just a little bit more on the oily side. Like I want to look hot and bothered, not like sweaty and smelly. Adding setting powder with a really small fluffy brush is, is going to do the trick. So I could definitely stop here. From what I could tell, Rosalia has really pinky kind of tint to her lips naturally. I want to try to mimic that. I'm going to use a mixture of two kind of pinky lip liners. So first I'm going to use the About Face fixed lip pencil and I'm going to overline just not even that much and then I'm gonna go over top with covergirl caramel nude I feel like it looks a little too made up no okay so I wiped most of the lip liners off just because i wanted a hint of rosiness on my on my lips as my last step for real i'm just gonna use a lip oil and this is the candy apple lip oil from in beauty project so i'm also bringing that above of my lip my cat is demanding attention okay so that is it for the look what do you guys think a for effort. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. This is a pretty easy, straightforward kind of makeup toot. I like it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Baby. Bye.